Hi there, we're back at it again. It's uh, maintenance time with M0 YKS. I'm just working on the G5500 azimuth um, elevation rotator. And right now I've got the actual elevation section in pieces. So I've just had it, I've stripped it down and I've, I've had the uh, the gearbox out and the, the motor out, the complete drive shaft, re-greased up all the bearings. And the main reason why I did all this is because I was uh, having a bit of uh, issues with this 500 ohm uh, potentiometer which uh, reads the elevation position on the rotor so i've replaced that i've put a new one in uh, and things are looking good i've just um, had the multimeter out i preset it to uh, 250 ohms which is the central position and then set the uh, rotor to the 90 degree uh, vertical setup on the on the actual position of the the gearbox and uh, put the meter on and bang on nine everything's working out so far so good so we're just going to build it back up again and then we're gonna look at building a new antenna. So a quick look around the uh, setup. So it strips into two pieces quite easy. Needs a bit of a clean up before I reassemble that half. Got some good um, high resistant grease and obviously the soldering iron's been in play. So I'll show you the, the replacement pot. So there I've got a spare one. It's, it's just a 500K pot. I used one of these previously, they work really well. They are actually wire wound. Uh, which is uh, the old design, but they still seem to have a good lifespan. This one's lasted me a good seven to eight years since I did it last time. So I'm going to get it rebuilt, and like I said, I've got a new antenna, which uh, I'm going to have got in the corner there. So I've got a 12 element um, X pole to build and put onto this particular array once I've finished this particular job. Catch you back shortly. So we've got the rotator back up in its fixed position, fully working, fully maintained greased, oiled, with a new 500k pot fitted. So I've ended up putting it to uh, 90 degrees elevation as mentioned earlier. So all I've got to do now is fix the antennas. I've got the new antenna which I'm going to show you now. So that's what was on there, that's the five element Yagi which I had vertically polarised. And this is what I've uh, ended up getting, so I waited a little while for this. I ordered it just before Christmas, but due to uh, a few problems, it's taken three months, but I'm well happy with what we've got. It's quite a, a length of a boom, really well constructed, and I've just unpacked all the uh, bits and pieces which we've got ready to get out and start building. It comes with a couple of balloons as well. Whoops, we've got a couple of balloons which will make uh, the antenna perform pretty good. So I best get busy, busy building. So yeah, that's a 12 element in total. Uh, X pole and it's going to be uh, for 145 megahertz and then on the uh, other side we've got the other X pole which is originally was uh, half of the X pole so I'm gonna, I've dug out the other half and I'm thinking about putting uh, both pieces together so I've got them stacked up ready to roll that, I just had the one half originally uh, which has worked really well as you can see I've got both pieces there so possibly going to connect both pieces up and have uh, extra elements in line so less talking for now and I best get busy building, catch you in a little bit, see what it turns out like. So a couple of hours down the line and we finished building it. This is the finished product, looking quite nice, decent quality, build is looking good. So, so far, very pleased with, uh, with the new antenna. So next job is to get it up on the mast and get the uh, 437, 30 element up possibly as well. So yeah, substantially built. Some nice uh, hardware, marine quality, so it should last for a number of years. So we managed to get everything built up and right now we're just positioning for RS44. So on the right hand side nearest to us we've got 30 elements now of 437 Oscarsat. And on the opposite side, we've got 12 elements for 145. So, yep, just fits in nicely. We'll uh, see how it performs. And we've uh, got the potentiometer replaced, so we'll be getting an accurate elevation reading. So, yeah, sounds nice and smooth as the elevation gearbox due to the repacking of the grease. So, looking good as we track the bird. So, yeah, great result. Now all that's left to find out is how well it performs with the extra gain and uh, yeah, exciting days.
Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra, Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. So yeah, I'm straight in there. Bit off frequency. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. Mike Zero, Yankee Kilo Sierra. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar. So yeah, working well. I can hear myself cracking in there nice and strong. Mexico Zero, Yankee Kilo Sugar, good afternoon, 5-9, Italy Oscar 9-3. What, Roger, Roger, 2M0SQL, 5-9, beautiful copy, just put a new antenna up and yeah, the sun is out, it's beautiful. Enjoy Easter, 73, have a good one. Yeah, it's a 12 element uh, X pole for 145, and I just put another 50 elements on the 437, so I've got 30 elements for that now. Should be doing uh, me a much better signal over. Yeah, yeah Roger, Roger, great copy. Thanks a lot. 73, enjoy the Easter. Bye bye. So yeah, I would say that the uh, result is pretty good. That one, I'm just messing around, not even really watching what I'm doing. So first uh, contact with the extra gain, very happy indeed. So yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on the feeders, making sure that they're uh, not getting tangled and uh, everything seems to be working really well. So very happy with today's work. And uh, yeah, catch you on the satellite bands real soon. Coming to a place near you. M0YKS signing out. Hope you've had fun watching the video. We'll catch you again on the next one.